So I'm a mortarman, uh, and he's artillery. What are the facts, man? Like, what base? Which which marine base? And what time was this? Two nights ago, it was roughly like 8.25-ish at night. Uh, it was near 29 Palms, California. So I don't know if you're familiar with the base at all, but Camp Wilson is attached to 29 Palms. So it's like a one-way road in and out of the camp. One of my buddies was outside. And he was looking in the sky, and then it just kind of appeared out of nowhere. And... We all came out and looked, and then slowly, like, 50-plus people started coming out and looking. Those lights appeared out of nowhere. Obviously, a lot of people saw this. What did people think? They were just kind of... They were just kind of, like, baffled. Nobody could recognize it. I mean, we're all in the military, so you'd think we'd... This happened in a number of places. I've got reports from other people that are coming in. The video you sent me, was that yours? Yeah, that was mine. That was from my iPhone. And the photo, was that a still photo or pulled from the video? No, it was a still photo. If you look in the picture, you can see like a black triangular shape. Why are these not flares? Uh, because they stayed there for a solid 10 minutes, just in the same spot. And flares don't sit in one spot for 10 minutes? No, they definitely, they fall. So you personally know that these were not flares. Do you believe this was a craft? Yeah, I would have to believe so. With the picture I took with the black triangular shape underneath the lights, it's definitely not any type of like flare or illumination rounds or anything. I didn't mean to butt in, but I work with artillery and we shoot illumination rounds out of our arty guns into the air to loom uh, infantry guys. And this was nothing compared to what that is. Like this was something none of us had ever seen before. It was a completely different color the size of the illumination was different and when we shoot illumination rounds it's one you shoot it in the air and let it drop and then you shoot another one this was like obviously you've seen the picture this was like five right next to each other and they're kind of reddish and our loom rounds are like a yellow white color so this was a crop was it hovering stationary was there any sound well, there was absolutely no sound no sound, but it was definitely stationary. How big was it? Estimate to me, how big? Compared to uh, one of those stealth bombers, the size. Well, hold on, hold on. Stealth bombers can't hover. Exactly. That's why I can compare it to that, but that's how I know it wasn't that. I would say the size of, like, three bedroom house. I don't know. Maybe bigger. You said that there were like objects that came out and like circled it right after and then it, it went dark? What do you mean? So right before they went out, the loom rounds popped off over top of it. Those two orange lights, the actual loom rounds that went up over top of it. And then after that, it disappeared, like just straight went black. And then helicopters started like hauling ass towards it. And they went like in the direction of it and then they started circling the area. These helicopters were circling for a good bit afterwards. And there was a there was a convoy as well that went out. It was like a 60-plus truck convoy that we saw go out as well. We were taking pictures afterwards. It was just straight black. It just disappeared. What do you think you saw? I couldn't tell you. I just know it's not anything that I recognized or any of my close friends could recognize either. So I don't think it was anything... U.S. military, definitely some type of UFO, and government was trying to look for it after it disappeared. I'm just trying to figure out what the hell that was. This is a highly documented event. We just don't know what it is. Yeah. Like, through exercises, we've worked with a lot of people who use different type of weapons. So I've never seen anything like it.